Hey guys, Brian here with English Mountain Outdoors. Um, I was asked to do a little video on natural cordage and how to make it. Uh, I don't really have time to get out today and get some natural materials. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, this old baler twine I had laying around here because it, it works good for showing how it's done. Uh, it's basically, I want to show you a technique for making cordage. Uh, works good with poplar bark. On the inner poplar bark is real stringy. Uh, soak it in a little water for a while. It really gets good. Uh, yucca. Yucca makes great cordage, really strong. Probably the strongest that I've seen is stinging nettle. You can, especially if you can get it in the winter time when it's dead, you can crush the stalk out of it and get the outer stringy area. <clears throat> I just want to show you a quick technique on making cord. Uh, I've got a little a bone fish hook here I made. It's just it's pointed on both ends and it's got a little groove carved down in the center. I just carved it out of a piece of bone. Uh, I want to show you how I do it and how this kind of hook works. You um, want to get enough to get your thickness. You want to watch because you're going to twist it. And that's twisted tight. It's going to be about twice that thickness when you're done. So depending on what you're fishing for, you want to stay fairly small. Um, just take it, you're going to turn this hand this way and this hand this way to get started. You want to grab it right about in the middle of the section there and you'll just start twisting and you want to twist until that loop starts folding over like that. Now at this point, I will take my hook and slip it right into the middle of that and pull it tight and then it's basically you're just going to twist away from you and roll it back both pieces twist the top piece away from you and just roll it just keep doing that uh, tighter you can twist it and roll it thinner it'll stay stronger it is and there's, a, there's another technique for making cordage where you can roll it on your leg and twist both sides at the same time. I don't normally do that. Um, it's preference, I guess. You can make it faster. I tend to have a little better luck with this. Like I said, I'm just I'm twisting. I divided it into two pieces here, basically two strands when you fold it in half. You want to grab the top one, twist away from you, and then grab the bottom one and roll it towards you. And you just keep doing that. It just it's a reverse twist. The friction that it causes by twisting it makes it stay together and hold against itself. And you can get moving pretty quick on it. I know uh, Mike Lowe's got a challenge out right now for. He's sending out some barrel cactus hooks and wants everybody to make a natural cordage and catch fish with it. Well, a friend of mine asked me to show him how to do the cordage, so I told him I'd try to get a quick video. One of these days I'll get out and uh, do some of the different materials that I know of. See how it's going. My radio's going off. And you just keep going this method till you get it as long as you need it. It makes a really super nice cordage. You can make it thin. Uh, if you want to get stronger materials for fishing lines that you need it a little bit thinner. Um, when it comes to the point where you need to add, uh, so you're running out of line here that you're twisting. Super simple. Get you a little more. This time, my camera over. 
this time you want to make sure you got about the same thickness there but uh, you will lay this against your lower section and twist and just weld it right into it uh, you can go on down a little farther and add your second piece in you want to keep your anytime you're adding to it you want to make sure and, and keep the area where you add it in spaced apart so you don't have a weak spot in the line uh, I would normally go at least a couple inches farther down before I add any to the lower section of the other section but that's how it works uh, once you're done you can just cut that out make it nice and clean it's uh, super strong and what I was going to show you this kind of hook is designed you would actually take your bait worm grub whatever you want to stick on it and slip it up so that the hook is actually parallel with the string and the theory is that when a fish goes in and pulls on it and it pulls that thing will flip sideways and get caught in their gullet or their mouth somewhere uh, I'm gonna do a lot of water and fishing videos this summer it's it warmed up and I'm pretty excited about it but, uh, but that's it that's basically how you make cordage I said you're just gonna you're just gonna grab there roll it tight away from you swing it all back and you can make it as long as you want um, I generally will use yucca for smaller stuff or stinging nettle uh, poplar bark makes a really good strong cord um, I haven't made any super small cord with it uh, most everything I've done with poplar has been at least an eighth of an inch thick or bigger so some of this smaller stuff is good for the little stuff but uh, that's about it I'm just going to show it to you and if you got any questions just let me know